So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I, um, I enjoy pushing the limits. I enjoy participating in endurance races. I did this for years and years and had a lot of fun doing it and um, met some very inspiring people and very motivating people. And a buddy of mine uh, that lives in Vermont with me, we started a race called the Death Race. It sounds kind of crazy. It's actually about living. We actually have a death racer who's in the crowd tonight. Um, we started this race and it's unlike any other race anywhere on the planet. So most races you go to, um, 26 mile marathons, 26 mile marathon, anywhere in the world. An Ironman triathlon, you're going to swim 2.4 miles, bike 112 miles, run 26 miles. You always know what to expect. You know how to train, you know how to prepare for the event. We wanted to come up with an event that nobody knew what to expect. They had no idea. So we came up with the death race, very inspiring race. Um, it's touched lots of lives. We met unbelievable people. We wanted to challenge them mentally, physically, and emotionally. So it's unlike any other race anywhere. Um, it's for hardcore athletes. It's not for everyday people. From that, we created the Spartan Race. So the Spartan Race um, is about motivating people and getting people inspired, getting people to step outside of their comfort zones and to challenge themselves, um, do something that they're not comfortable with. So when we created this, um, it was about inspiring people. Now they're doing the opposite. They're inspiring us. They're motivating us. And they step outside their comfort zone and they challenge themselves. People from all walks of life, all over the place. Um, 200 years ago, 200 years ago, we had a totally different lifestyle than we have today. So people had very low expectations. They had very high tolerance. They were able to deal with adversity. Um, you think about the small town that I live in, Vermont, 400 people, dirt roads everywhere. Um, for somebody to travel to get supplies that they needed, they would be gone for days sometimes. A wagon might break down. A you know, all these different things they had to deal with all the time. Fast forward to today, we're not comfortable with that stuff. We live a fast-paced life. Um, we have very high expectations. We have very low tolerance. We don't deal with adversity well. You know, people are concerned that their coffee is too cold. People are concerned with traffic, waiting in lines, the Wi-Fi is not working, all these different things. So we thought, since we, we don't have a society that's good with dealing with adversity, let's create a race where they have to deal with adversity. Can you imagine running? You're in a regular race, and you turn the corner, and there's a wall. You have to climb over this wall, or you have to crawl under barbed wire. And so that's how this uh, idea came up. And it was very interesting, and people are very passionate about it. Now it's more of a movement. Like, people are so excited to step out of their comfort zones and challenge themselves. And it's really a great feeling. So um, one thing we've done is change the frame of reference. So by lowering your expectations, um, you get a higher tolerance. So you're able to deal with adversity. And so I think adversity is great. Um, adversity is the road to success. Adversity gives us a chance to step out of our comfort zones and challenge ourselves. I like to think about um, Olympic athletes. Olympic athletes prepare for four years. They make a commitment. They have delayed gratification. They have all these roadblocks. They have all these obstacles in life. It's four years away. Or a scientist, or an educator, or a doctor, or a world leader, a religious leader. Some of these people have delayed gratification. They set these goals and it's so far away. They don't even know when they're going to reach these goals, if they're going to reach these goals. Um, I was t talking to somebody earlier today about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was told that he was stupid. He was fired from a couple different jobs. Um, it took him a thousand times to invent the light bulb. A thousand different times. He didn't quit. He didn't give up. He had grit. He was able to push on to get to that final goal. So when asked about the thousand times, he said, no, I didn't fail a thousand times. There's a thousand steps in inventing the light bulb. Just took a thousand steps. Um, Lewis and Clark, this great expedition in 1804, they're traveling west from St. Louis to the Pacific Ocean. Can you imagine the adversity that they had to deal with? Hunger, they had to deal with fatigue, they lost animals, they lost people that are part of their crew, part of their exploration. Um, they had to fight the Sioux tribe when they came across, they had to go over the Rocky Mountains. It was unbelievable all the adversity that these people had to deal with. Um, I'd like to share a story about an everyday person. So this is Amanda Sullivan. Um, Amanda I met at the Spartan race. Um, she is not, she's been in two accidents within a six week period. Her first accident, she was rear ended by somebody who was texting while driving. They rear ended her, she ends up in the hospital. She has some brain damage. Um, she tore lots of muscles in her body, muscles, ligaments. Um, she was going through physical therapy. Five weeks she was in the hospital. So this is her with the delayed gratification. During that time, she was started her physical therapy. Her first day she leaves the hospital, she gets hit by a car. Unbelievable, in a six week period. Now she's in the hospital for three years. 
three years she spent in the hospital. During that time, she had goals and aspirations that when she got out, she was not only going to um, participate in events and she was going to do different things, but she was going to walk. Now she participates in the Spartan race. She just recently told me with her crutches, she's going to do a 26 mile marathon. So she's stepping out of her comfort zone. She's challenging herself and pushing beyond her limits. I have a challenge for you. One thing that we have, we have a problem motivating ourselves and people have a problem with setting these goals. So I challenge everybody here to make a commitment. So you make that commitment. Once you make a commitment, whatever it is, um, you've put it out there. Put it on Facebook. Put it on social media. Tell everybody about it. Whatever it is that you want to succeed. Do you want to write a book? Do you want to get a college degree? Do you want to get married? Is it something physical? Do you want to run in a marathon? Do you want to participate in the Spartan race? Commit to that. Make that commitment and set the goal. So whatever the goal might be. Um, I think about Michael Phelps all the time. The best swimmer in the world every day works on his stroke technique. He's the best, but he has flaws. Steve Nash every day works on his free throw shooting every single day make that commitment and be um do everything you can to get there so every single day you should be working towards that goal ultimately work towards a goal lower the expectations lower your expectations and create adversity there's nothing wrong with creating adversity in life also laser-like vision you should always have laser-like focus on everything trying to get to this goal what is the goal Everything that you do should pertain, pertain to that goal. So I challenge everybody here, just like we have hundreds of thousands of Spartans participating, um, set a goal, commit to it, and um, go for it. Good luck.